tent is going to be like the Napa Valley, like the famous one that tourists go to. Hi, I'm Isabel at Wineless. So as you may know, we're resurfacing and revisiting some of Josh's podcasts that he's done on English wines. So when you look at English wines, it's such a growing market. There's going to be 40 million bottles sold per year by 2040. And two thirds of those are always sparkling. English wines are always sparkling, but we're looking at still wines today. So we've got four Chardonnays. We've got, I mean, when I say English wines, we've got Anchor Hill from Wales. All the data always says English wines, but Welsh wines are amazing too. So we've got Anchor Hill, we've got Balfour, which is an M&S one. And then we have two from Black Book, which have lovely labels, which I adore just from the labels without even trying them, which you shouldn't do. So we're going to taste through them anyway, but the first one is Anchor Hill from Wales. And when you look at the color on this one, it's 22 pounds and wow, really, really cloudy when you look at it. It looks really interesting, like sort of fresh pressed lemon juice, but smells really complex, toasty, creamy, almonds, peaches, it smells wonderful. Oh, amazing. It just carries on, the finish on it is so long. And it's really steely and high acidity with all that complexity as well. It's really interesting, that one. Very, really like it. So the next one is Balfour. And Balfour is, it's m &S's basically English wine. And a lot of supermarkets are doing English wines because of popularity. So this is 12 99 and it's that entry level price point that you get for English wines usually. So to look at it, looks like an ordinary wine so far. Smells nice and apple like what you get out of an English wine. Oh, taste. Tastes like Haribo Tangfastics. <laughs> really, really tangy. A bit too tangy, to be honest. Really, not, they're trying to go for nice acidity, but just a bit too tangy. I feel like that is Haribo Tangfastics, and the first one that we had is more, it's getting rounder, it's getting more complex. It's like the little heart shaped sweets when it's a sweet on the front and the white bit at the back. It's two things going on together and wonderful, but that is Pierre Tangfastic. Then the Black Books one. So these are, this one's 24 and the next one's 25. And this is basically a producer, an urban producer in London. So he buys grapes from different pockets of vineyards everywhere. This one is from Essex. And Josh actually interviewed him in his podcast. And he said some really interesting things about English wines. So this one's Essex, the next one's Surrey. And he basically said, Essex is gonna be like the Oregon of England and Kent is going to be like the Napa Valley, like the famous one that tourists go to. So I'm interested to try the Essex one. Oh, it smells wonderful. Like vanilla and cream and loads of fruit in there, but with this weirdness to it as well. Like almonds and yeah, it smells good. That is very nice. That is a very nice wine. It just really stays so smooth. You never get that sort of drop off point where it gets a bit nasty and tangy like the last one. Super clean and smooth, but so complex, a lot going on. Almost a little bit beery in a good way though, just a subtle, subtle hint. So the next one from Black Book, which is the same winemaker, different vineyard. This one's from Surrey. The last one only had 10 months barrel aging. This one has 20 months, so it's a 2018, another year older. And wow, you can smell it inside there. Almost like caramel in a weird way. Really, really rich. exactly the same they get the finish so nice it just carries on and on and on a bit like toffee apples but clean steely fresh really wonderful wine so between the four of them got quite similar price points so we've got 22 24 25 
I have to say they were all wonderful and definitely worth it. When you get English wines, they do tend to be a bit more expensive, but when you get to that sort of 20 to 30 range, they are wonderful and so worth it. But I have to say the Balfour at 12.99, you can get way better wines at 12.99. Or just a bag of Haribo Tangvastics. <laughs> Let us know if you like our videos and subscribe to follow more of them.